Good morning, everybody, and welcome to your morning practice that's going to help to wake up your body, particularly this practice is designed for those of you who do wake up feeling quite a lot of tension and tightness. So just going to gently wake up the body. The more that you do it, the better I promise that you'll feel it. So try and just dedicate a little bit of time every morning and I promise that you'll feel the difference. We're going to begin by laying down on our backs with the knees bent. Soles of the feet foot onto the floor and make sure your lower back is grounded down onto the mat. Place one hand onto the belly, one hand onto the chest, close off the eyes and just starting to connect with some deep belly breaths. Breathe in through your nose, breathe into the belly and a full breath out. Full breath in and a full breath out. Inhale deeply and exhale completely. One more full breath in and a full breath out. Now just releasing the arms out to the side into cactus, a little bend in the elbows. If you have got the space, by all means, take it into a little T shape. Lifting the feet off the floor, begin to bring the knees in towards the chest, squeezing the thighs together, just begin to sway. And rock left to right here. Nice little massage out for your lower back. Make sure that your uh, upper back, your shoulders are grounded down onto the mat. From here, let both knees drop over to the right side and then let the head come over to the left. Try to make sure your shoulders are fully grounded down onto the mat. If your knees are hovering, if you can't make it all the way down, that's okay, just bear with it. And see if you can squeeze the thighs and bring the knees all the way back through to the centre. Come into that little sway left to right again. And then let both knees come over to the left side now. Release them down and then taking the head over to the right. Squeezing the thighs as you bring the head and the knees all the way back through to the centre. Take the hands around your back of your front back of the thighs, start to rock and roll up and down through the spine, and then come to make your way into a tabletop position. So tabletop, wrists, elbows, shoulders are stacked in alignment, knees aligned with the hips, and tops of the feet foot onto the floor. If you need any help with your balance, then onto the toes. Make sure your belly was lifted in and up towards the spine and you're strong and active through your arms. Drop the belly down, inhale as you lift, open up through the chest. And then exhale as you round off through the spine, bring your chin towards the chest and really push away from the floor. Drop the belly down, inhale as you lift, open. Exhale, round off through the spine, chin comes into the chest. Let's just go for a few more of these. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. One more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Move back to neutral. Turn the right foot out to the side. Extend your left leg out and sweep the left arm to the side. Crane the long line from your left hand down to your left foot. And lengthen. Try to make sure you're active here, not crunching the uh, side of the right, the head, the right side of your head onto your shoulder. Really active. Option if you wish to, lifting up the leg. Maybe taking the hand to grab onto the foot, but try not to flare through the rib cage. Keep it nice and active. Release the hand and the knee all the way back down, go to the side. So take the left foot out to the side. Extend the right leg and sweep the right arm, creating length here. Try to think about pulling the belly button in and up towards the spine, maybe lifting the leg, maybe grabbing onto the foot. And releasing all the way down, take the hand down onto the mat, toast up under, send the bottom all the way up and back into a down facing dog. Now, it is early in the morning, so you might need a nice big bend in the knees, and that is fine. Always prioritise the lengthening into the spine, though. Give the head a little bit of a shake, push back, so we're active into the arms here. From here, bringing it forward into your high front, pushing away. 
Come back into your downward dog. Into your plank. Downward dog. Into your plank. Downward dog. One more into your plank. And a downward dog. From here, lift the right leg up into a three-legged dog. But try and keep your arms strong and rather than collapsing into the elbows, keep it pushed back. Looking forward, bring the right foot through in between the hands. If it doesn't make it there, give it a helping hand. Bring it forward, that's absolutely fine. Drop down the back knee and tuck the toes. Inhale, lift up into a low lunge. No collapsing into your lower back. Squeeze, pull the belly button in and up and reach. Right forearm onto the right leg, reach the left arm up, take it over to the right. Feel this opening for your left side. Sweep the arm around, frame the foot, left toe tucks under, back knee lifts, go back into a downward facing dog. Left leg lifts up now into your three legged dog. Bring your left foot through, give it a healthy hand. Drop down the back knee, inhale, lift up, low lunge. Left forearm onto the left leg, reach that right arm up and over to the left. Release the hand around, right toe tucks under, back knee lifts, back into your downward dog. We'll go for one more each side, right leg lifts. Right foot comes through. Drop the back knee, lift up, low lunge. Right forearm down, left arm over. Take it around. Back toe tucks under, back knee lifts, go back to your downward dog. Left side, left leg lifts, bring the foot through, drop down the knee, inhale lift, left forearm down, right arm over. Take it around and then back into your downward facing dog. Now onto the knees and then lower all the way down. Find the sphinx pose. We want our elbows directly underneath the shoulders, forearms flat onto the floor, and just a natural spread through the hands. You can take the feet at a hip distance or take them to the edge of the mat. Inhale as you lift. And then take the chin towards the chest. Inhale, lift the head. Maybe stretching through the foot of the throat. Exhale, release the chin down. Inhale, lift. Release the chin down. Inhale, lift. And release the chin down. Now taking the hands to the side of the ribs, elbows and tights beside the shoulder, to the side of the body. Draw the shoulders back, push the hips into the mat and squeeze your glutes. Lift up and a baby cobra. Release down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, release down. Maybe going a bit deeper into full cobra. Keeping the elbows bent. Release down. Inhale, lift. Keep squeezing your glutes. Release down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release down. One more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release down. And then now making the equipment, bringing the arms into a little, um, a little pillow. Forearm rest down onto the hands and slide the left knee out to the side. Now it's going to stretch through the inside of the thigh. If you need to feel it a little bit deeper, bring that knee up a little bit higher. If it's too intense, just take it down to begin with. Release the left leg down. Right side. And release down. Now, take a bend in the left knee. We're going to cactus the arms in front. Start to lift the left knee up, bring the foot behind, come to find scorpion pose. So just feeling an opening through the left hip. If you want a little bit more, lift that left hand off and roll onto that right shoulder. Nice opening. Keep breathing. And then releasing all the way down. Other side now, so bending in your right leg. Bringing the foot around, and again, if you need deeper, you need to lift up. Releasing all the way back. Hands ground down, pushing with the hands. Lift yourself into your tabletop. 
Feel that lift the right arm all the way up. Reach. Right hand comes down. Left side, reach that left arm up. Left hand grounds down. Right side, reach the arm up. And then thread the right hand underneath, resting onto the back of the shoulder. Reach it all the way back up, inhale. Exhale, release down. Left side now, reach your left arm up. Take your left arm through, rest onto the left shoulder. And releasing that left arm all the way back. Drop down the hand onto the mat. And then taking it back into a child's pose. Extend the arms, melt the chest down, rest the forehead down. Just connecting back with your breath here. Noticing how you feel. And start to make your way all the way up. Come into sit cross legs. If you can, or if not, just bending in the knees in front of you, lengthening into the spine. A second inhale as you reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, bring your hands down to your heart center, just closing off the eyes. Being proud of yourself for all that you've just done there. And thank you for practicing with me. Namaste.